What's going on guys, my name's Theoatrix and today I'll uncover 10 of the most underrated training methods in OSRS. The most efficient hunter and fishing method in the game is pretty underrated since not many people use it. Drift net fishing is an activity where you chase fish into nets and you gain both hunter and fishing experience. It requires 44 hunter and 47 fishing to partake and you'll already be earning faster than efficient XP rates. You can get 50k fishing while getting 80k hunter XP per hour at a low level. And since you're getting both at the same time, it's similar to getting either 100k fishing XP per hour or 160k hunter XP per hour, which is by far the fastest XP for both of those skills at that level. The XP rates scale up until level 70 and at 70 you can expect 87k fishing and 115k hunter which still translates to be one of the fastest methods in the game this method does lose money though about 300k lost per hour one of the best AFK mining methods out there is calcified rocks. But they're not only good for mining experience, it's an excellent way to train your prayer, especially on an Iron Man. From calcified rocks, if you go to 99 mining, you'll reach level 86 prayer from level 1. The AFK time is 70 seconds, which is a very long AFK time. You can also 3 tick these rocks to reach nearly 100k XP per hour, but you'll usually cap out at 50k with regular training. The next underrated training method is having a Theoatrix mousepad on your desk. You can get any Theoatrix mousepad for cheap with the coupon code underrated. So check out theoatrix.shop or click the link in the description to see what mousepads are in stock. A spell that was introduced in 2021 is an underrated moneymaker and is decent for experience. While getting 50k magic XP per hour, you can get Herblore experience with the D Grime spell on the Arceus spellbook. The spell requires the Kingdom Divided quest and completion of Druidic Ritual to get Herblore XP. Because of the recent Mixology minigame update, just degriming Marantils will earn you 1 mil GP per hour, while getting 30k Herblore XP per hour. Degriming Toadflax nets 1.2 mil profit per hour, with 60k Herblore XP at the same time. Some herbs are a big loss though, where degriming Ranars, you'll lose 600k per hour. You do need the Herblore level to clean the herbs, even with the spell, but overall it's a decent way to train magic and Herblore while making a profit. It's also excellent for Iron Men that haven't unlocked the NPC in Narda that cleans herbs. The most profitable agility training method in the game is the Wilderness Agility Course. Training here alone is dangerous, so you can join a friends chat like Agility FC to train with other people. It's a single way combat area, so if a PKer comes, they can only target one person at a time. You can make over 2.5 mil GP per hour here if you stay for a while. With 78 thieving and the death to the Dorgeshan quest completed, you can steal from Dorgesh Khan rich chests. This is a fairly low effort and relaxed method compared to other thieving training spots. Rich chests are unlocked at level 78 thieving and the XP rates max out at 230k XP per hour for all levels. So this method doesn't really scale with your thieving level. With that, getting 230k XP per hour at level 78 is very fast. And at the same time, you'll make around 300k GP in profit per hour if you're banking. Stealing artifacts from the Piscarilius house is a highly underrated method, where it's the fastest thieving experience in the game between levels 49 and 65. It gives 150 to 180k XP per hour at those levels, which is a fair bit faster than blackjacking. 
blackjacking is also a lot more click intensive than stealing artifacts. At the maximum thieving level, you can get 260k XP per hour, which makes it in the top 5 fastest thieving methods in the game. With the Book of the Dead or Karedst's memoirs, it speeds up this method pretty significantly, giving about a 15% boost in your XP rates. Thieving from rogues chests in the deep wilderness is the fastest thieving experience in the game and also one of the most profitable thieving methods. You can get up to 300k thieving XP per hour if you're uninterrupted and you don't get PK'd. At the same time, you'll net around 2 mil GP per hour. Additionally, you can use an imbued ring of wealth to halve the drop rate of a clue scroll here, but this method does require 84 thieving, so it is a high level method. I have seen where clans come here as a group to have some protection from PKers, but it can be quite easy to escape by running up and down the staircase. With 60 Hunter and full completion of Monkey Madness 2, you can hunt for maniacal monkeys. This is one of the most AFK hunter training methods in the game, with AFK intervals lasting 20 to 40 seconds depending on your level. When you unlock it, you can expect around 50k XP per hour, scaling up to 110k at 99. To catch the maniacal monkeys, you need to bait them with bananas, and you can bring baskets of bananas or the bones to bananas spell, although I would highly advise against against using bones to bananas. Despite it increasing the length of each trip, it's too much extra effort for a method that's meant to be AFK. So I would suggest just bringing baskets of bananas. You should train on a world where there are no other players in the room. And you should also aim to set up traps with the central rocks. Crafting silver jewelry is an underrated moneymaker and also an underrated low level crafting training method. A lot of pieces of enchanted silver jewelry are used and consumed in the thousands by players on a daily basis. And creating those pieces of silver jewelry is highly profitable. For example, there's dodgy necklaces, amulets of chemistry, burning amulets, expeditious bracelets, and more. The highest profit rate at this point in time comes from dodgy necklaces, where you can make over 800k GP per hour while getting 50k crafting XP per hour. Jade amulets are great as well, currently giving 700k GP while giving nearly 100k XP per hour. The 10th underrated method for this video is manually stringing amulets without the spell. To do this, there's no requirements other than having a bit of cash to buy the unstrung amulets and balls of wool. Overall, you can get 10k crafting XP per hour doing this, and that's decent for a level 1 crafter. Stringing jade, topaz and ruby amulets are all very profitable, where jades are the most profitable due to their use with the amulet of chemistry. Most other amulets are also slightly profitable at the moment, and some you'll break even. So that was 10 underrated training methods in OSRS. If you're after a gaming mousepad, be sure to check out theoatrix.shop or click the link down in the description. Thanks for watching.